hello hopefully all of you are doing good now in previous video in this particular video we have discussed about like how to find a particular object it could be a atom or another list is a part of another prolog list or not right and over there we have developed a simple predicate which actually takes an list and, and another argument which is basically an object prolog object and we have basically written a recursive rule to determine that one right now in that video i said like we will talk about another kind of prolog problem which involves list so today we will talk about how to compare two lists in prolog so we will start with the problem and then we will see how we can find the solution of that problem and we are going to use the similar kind of concept whatever we have learned in the prolog list introduction video as well as this particular video here okay so if you have not watched these videos probably i will give a link in my video description as well as well as you will find somewhere over here as a card so you can you can you can look out for that one as well so the problem i have taken from the learn learn prolog now book which is freely available here and we will try to solve this problem over here so they said like let's say they have a knowledge base something like this one so there are like german numbers and english numbers if you see there are a couple of there are facts some like nine facts over here which basically tells us what is the german equivalent of english one correct now we need to develop a predicate called list tran uh, which will take two inputs and both of these inputs will be a list okay so let's say if i am passing a german list and an and and variable over here something like this one okay so it will basically give you the english version of those numbers here if you see the and that too it should be running as a list similarly if you pass the english list it should give you a german list over here so this is the problem of comparing list over here if you see like working with multiple lists over here so how we can we can solve this problem now before that let us try to see the this guy over here the knowledge base here right we will use one of the fact over here like not one of the fact most of the facts over here and one of the features over here very extensively in this problem so let us try to see that so i have actually copied these facts in a pl file dot pl file and let's let's see that one so this is my prolog file dot pl and i have named it as kb dot pl so you can give any name over here so if i just write something like this one tran e i n s comma one so le let's say if i post this query to prolog so how prolog will return so let me copy this one and if i just post this query here prolog is returning me true over here right but if i post something like this one let's say two because this is okay not here here it is two if i post this one it is returning me false because this is not a fact here right now instead of posting this query let's say if i post something like this one instead of two or one i will pass a variable here so what will be happening will be happening like the variable will have the german basically english version of this particular number over here right which is one now this is interesting here right so we by by using this this things over here so if i let's say we need to develop a new predicate called list tran right so which is basically takes two list here now we want to compare this this two list over here but our main problem states that so if i just go back to the problem our main problem is stating that so they will be passing a variable something similar to whatever we did it over here in this example right and it should give us a corresponding english version if you are passing german version or if you are passing english version it should give you the corresponding german version here so if i just go back to prolog again so instead of this one if i just pass a query something like this one let's say here it is one here it is x so x should have the german version of this one over here right so now we can think about our given problem as 
if we develop a predicate which takes two list argument and say these two lists lists are equal in some way like the first element is same as the first element of the first list is same as the first element of the second list similar way for the second element third element fourth element we are done right because in that case what will happen for one of those list i will pass variable and then that variable will have the corresponding version of the other one right if i pass instead of a german list i can pass a variable over there it should have the corresponding german version of the english version over there right so so now first we will try to solve the problem in this way like how we can compare basically the given list over here let's see if we have two list over there how we can compare whether the first element of the first list is same as first element of the second list here so for that i have a simple diagram so let us look into that one so we have a problem something like this one right we have two list so what we have determined is like if some way we can say that like this one is same as this one and this one is same as this one our job is done right so how we will do it very easy right whatever we have seen in the previous video we will go through one by one element of both of this list right and we will check whether eins is same as one or not if it is same we will go to the next element here right then it will check right so if you see it like every time we are just taking the head of the list over here right and comparing them whether both are same or not if it if it is same then we are moving to the next one like this one so in this way we will go through all the elements of the list here and compare and if we find like all the elements are same so we can say like both of this lists are same over here as well right so let us develop that in prolog now over there while we will iterate we will have a situation where we need to compare two empty lists there yeah, right because once once we have this one once prolog reach this point it will again loop through it that time it will get a empty list there right so that empty list one how to handle it we will see that one as well so now i am moving to prolog first okay we will try to write some predicate here so we will say so the predicate we need to we need to develop it over here is the list tran right so basically it is translating from one language to the another one that's why maybe they have given this name here so list tran so it will take two list here now as we did in the previous video whenever we are iterating through a list we basically define a recursive rule right and so let let us write it down so this one will be true so we have two list here right we will take two list as an input and there will be a rule and how we iterate the list here by recursively accessing the head over there right and basically comparing the head then recursively doing the same operation from on the tail over here right accessing one by one element so that's why if you remember in that video also we have called this list tran or the basically the same predicate whatever we have it over here list tran here right so now we need to fill this up this is this will be our skeleton to recursively access that list then we will fill it up now so now list tran as we have seen in that diagram so first we compare for both of the list first we compare the head if they are same we the again move to the next element right now how we can compare both of the elements are both of the heads are same first we need to basically access the head you have to extract the head so we are going to use that pipe operator here right so i will take a variable called head of the german list let's say this is our first input will be our german list then pipe then this will be our the rest of the elements of the list will be tail of our german list here similarly for english list also to extract the head i will use a variable called head underscore e you can give any name just make sure it is starting with capital now then the tail of e here right so 
in both way i have extracted the head of the list and the tail of the list as well now to iterate through as we have done, done it before so we will pass this guy over here at the right hand side right so that whenever it will call the list tran again okay i'll i'll write in this way t underscore g so we will pass something like this one so that we can we are passing the tail portion over here right so when next time it will iterate it will take the first element of the tail this new tail there right so we have discussed this in the previous video using a diagram there so i am not just going through it again and then tail of the e as well here so let's give a dot here so now we have this one over here where we are comparing we are basically recursively calling the list tran here but no where we are determining like whether h g and h e are same because if you remember in the previous video we have used a atom there right to compare it now here it is a variable so we need some way to compare whether h g is same as h e or not so in that case our these guys will help us right so apart from iterating it i'll also check my head are same or not using this guy over here so tran because that's a fact right tran something tran h g and h e here comma so that means so what this rule actually telling me so this rule actually telling me like take it to take two list whatever we have giving over here take the head portion now pass it to this guy right, right? that means prolog will check prolog whenever it will pass to this guy prolog will have a new goal to satisfy right so it will use these guys to know whether this is true or not if this is true okay if the head portion are matching then again look through it right but passing the tail portion there so that whenever it will come back over here it will again divide the tail portion into head and tail again and then compare it again one by one element this is how we are achieving it right and as i said while looping through that one prolog may have a goal called list run empty list comma empty list there right so in that case we need to have another list list run another list run definition comma empty list comma empty list this one dot so we will always take this guy as fact that means this guy will always be true and we are not doing any kind of technical mistake over here as well right because two empty lists are actually same here right because they do not have any any elements over there so with this one i think we can now reach a point where we can test it out so let's say so okay first let me let me compile it make and i will also consult this particular selection here okay so now let's say i will post a query something like this one this one here let's see what what we are getting it over here we are getting a because I, we have passed a variable here and the list of english numbers here so it gives me the corresponding list of german numbers here so if i compare so for one we get this one seven we get this one i think it is matching perf perfectly here right so how it works so whenever we have passed x and this one right so basically prolog is trying to find out what is the equivalent german list of this guy over here right and basically it uses this this facts traversively over here right to find out which is the equivalent of one similar stuff over here right uh, as we have discussed while while developing this one here now similarly if i post a query something like this one so it will give me the english version of the list over here using the similar concept over there right and let's say if i pass something like this one an empty list because we have defined a two empty list are same as a fact right so it will also give me x as empty list over here as well okay even 
I can pass something like this one. So let's say if I just copy this list over here. So both of this way it will work because we have developed in this way only, right? So we are actually comparing two lists over there. So the core logic is comparing the two list by traversing the element wise and comparing them together, right? Using the this 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 strand fact over here, right? So whatever we have defined it over here, whatever given in the problem here. So this is how we work with two different list in Prolog and and we access it how we can access it iteratively over there. Okay, and this will come multiple multiple times when we will work will be working with Prolog programs, and instead of like comparing this this kind of translation, right? This the problem could be something else as well, but it will mainly involve in comparing the two list over there. Right. So hopefully this video was helpful. See you in the next video.